But that's this is all the sad. This is a couple of extras. Oh sweet! I'm gonna just give it to you. Nice to meet you, man. My name's Reno. Reno? Yeah. Ian, good to meet you. You too, man. So it was all this stuff here was growing up? It was, yeah. I've had it. Saturn fan, man. You don't see a lot of Saturn fans anymore. This is like the highlight for me just because it's so weird. Very obscure. <laughs> but that's, this is all the sad, this is a couple of extras. Oh, sweet. I'm going to just give it to you. I'm just going to take them too, man. Parasite, he's a classic. That's just, this is all the Saturn stuff in this box. Is it cool if I look through it just a little Please bit? Please do. Yes, absolutely. But yeah, this actually had this, this Nice in the box. dreams. I didn't even see that. That was a fun game. Yeah, and they had that controller, the, the round controller yes, you can get for it. Man, you remember it. Well, they, they, they uh, modeled the Dreamcast controller after it. So this has just got some extras in it. Okay, that's sweet. And you say you fired this thing up? I did fire it up. Yep. I played Tomb Raider on it for a little while. Oh, she was good. at it. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, you... <laughs> it's so much different than a modern, you know, controller stick. I wish I still had. I don't know why I don't have the pamphlets, but I don't. But I have the. Well, the, the way these, these, these you know, their cases were, they fell right out and they just fall apart. Yeah, so I think I had a system, but I don't know where the. Oh, that looks good. So this is a Sega box here. That's all the sex box, and then the other box is gonna just be everything else. Oh, let's see all the Nintendo cast and Nintendo game. game, game. I'm not a cheater, man. <laughs> Unless there's a game genie involved. <laughs> no, this all looks good to me. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there are two Super Nintendo consoles in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the Super Nintendo. There was yeah. Super Nintendo games, right? There was a. Uh... There's a few games in there too. Yeah. Not as many as I hope. Uh, yeah, the uh, Mario is classic. One. I'm seeing. No, you had Final Fantasy III. That's, That's a, a classic. One. That's a good one. Yep. All right, let's see here. What was it? We agreed on 50 bucks. Or was it 330? <laughs> I think it was 330. All right, double check the. What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube's Ring Bean, and welcome back to another episode, the second installment, I guess, of Quick Flips. It's a show where I get a pickup or two and just show you how quick and easy it is to make money that day. So, as you can see, this pickup's a little bit scattered. I still got a whole bunch of other stuff over here to show you. I paid $330 for the slot. We will already sent me a payment for $376. I'm going to show you guys what he bought. And I'm not a stingy person. I want you people out there to make money as well. If you want to hit up Weevil, check his buy list. I put it in my description. And if you want to reach out to him, the link to my Discord is in the pinned comments. I got to do is go there and tag Weevil. He'll set you up. So I tried to put everything just kind of like all together for him to just make these videos a little bit easier. So Weevil picked out three PS2 games, which is just common stuff that he's able to, to flip and sell a little bit easier. And he picked out five NES games. We got Metroid, TMNT, you know, Super Mario 3, Tetris, Punch-Out. Uh, so those are the games that he selected. Oh, and he also picked out the Game Genie. Didn't want the book, just wanted the Game Genie. That, and of course, he went with a copy of Super Mario World. So with his stack of games, he got a PlayStation 2 with cords and controllers, as well as two extra controllers, I believe. A Super Nintendo cords and controllers, as well as an NES with cords and controller and a zapper. And I believe that's it. I don't think I'm leaving anything else out. I'll double check, but that, that that's all he bought right there $376 bam it only cost me $330 to pick this up now what am I left with now this is, is not all I'm left with. we still got a whole box of just beautiful Saturn stuff uh, we got a Super Nintendo and I still got a cord or the cords and controller for it Final Fantasy 3 oh, come on now cool spot and just uh, uh, well, we got a hole in one golf nothing crazy on the PS2 games and nothing too wild on the NES, NES games except we do got a blank one to figure out what the hell that is it's probably a little Samson for all I know uh, Metal Gear Solid, Blaster Masters, Dash Galaxy, nothing crazy. Let me show you this Saturn lot. Going through the Saturn stuff, he's like, I got a few extra things, and yeah, of course he did. He had a copy of what I thought was Parasite Eva, as anybody would think, considering, you know, that's what this is. But when I got home and opened it up, it's actually all three discs for the horror game D, which actually I'm not upset about, because those three discs alone, about $60 versus, you know, the $40 to $50 Parasite Eva is by itself. The other extras that he included was this, actually, this pretty pimp case here. Uh, and it's got some PC games in there as well as a few Sega CD games. There was Virtual Cop in there, which actually I needed to complete the, the sampler, three free games. 
uh, Daytona USA. Uh, was there any others? It's mainly just PC games, but actually some pretty good titles on those as well. So as you can see, we got a box Sega Saturn. Doesn't have the the manuals or inserts, but it does have the cardboard, the system, the controller cords. Tested works beautifully. Uh, we have a copy of Tomb Raider without the, the the cover because I actually took the plastic cover and put it on a more important game. It does have the back card. There's a few of these games that are missing the manual, and that just happens with Saturn games. Fortunately, it had to be two games that I really would have liked to see the manuals on. Virtual Fighter, you see this in, in many Saturn collections or lots if you're ever lucky enough to pick one up. Uh, Battle Arena, the Ultimate Revenge Attack, the addition. Hey, this is a good title right here. That's what I'm talking about. VR Soccer, the difference is real. Uh, but as far as the bread and butter, my God, you just never see this stuff out in the wild. Mega Man X4, missing the manual, but got the back card. The disc is in great shape. It's been tested. I already sold this for $150. Um, we're already up. We're doing so good. But the, 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 the big cojona. Mega Man 8 with the cover art. The disc is almost flawless, baby. This alone is it what, $260, $300 right there, depending on how you want to list it, post it, what you want to wait on. People, I spent $330. I initially made profit right off, right off the gate. You know, he sent me a payment, $376. I got all this other stuff to sell. Hell, I already sold one of the games for $150. Didn't take much time at all. I posted an ad. The ad hit, went and picked it up. Hit my man Weevil up. He hit me a quote back. He said, I'll take this. Sold, ship, buy, done. He pays for shipping over $100. Always remember that his prices are good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up some of his orders. He likes his items to be cleaned up nicely, not all ratting and crazy and cords and, and tangles and all that, which is understandable. I wouldn't want that either. Uh, you know, he's, he's a good guy. So, anyways, if you guys want to hit Weevil up, the link to the Discord is in the pinned comment. Just all you got to do is sign up. It doesn't cost you things. I'm not one of those goobers who charge for a damn Discord. And just tag Weevil. You can check out his buy list, and he will set you up. He is a good guy to work with. But as always, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.